I am not responsible for any evil use of the information that you will hear in this video. For me, Ayano Koji is a psycho whose only thing he thinks about is to achieve his goals and he doesn't care about the method. So I will explain the ways that made Ayano Koji a genius and the way you use this information is your guilt. And I want to tell you something else. If you think this video will be silly talk, like the silly guys on YouTube, you don't know me well. I will tell you in-depth information about Ayano Koji's personality and his way of thinking. And you will become a genius like Ayano Koji. But not everyone who watches this video will be a genius, because you must apply the white room to your life. And I think only 1% can apply the white room in his life. Now I will ask you a question, and your answer will determine whether your thinking is like Ayano Koji or not. The question says, will you sacrifice to achieve your goals, or will you let your goals become the sacrifice? If your answer is yes, you can move on to the next one to understand how the white room works. But if your answer is no, you must understand Ayano Koji mindset first. Ayano Koji sees everyone as an inventory of tools that he must sacrifice to reach his goals. In the realm of strategic thinking and intellectual prowess, few people exemplify the art of outsmarting others. As brilliantly as Ayano Koji, he's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. He is a master at making deductions, controlling his emotions, and manipulating others. The world is designed in such a way that winning will require you to become a genius like Ayano Koji. Before taking any action, you need to toughen up your mind so that you don't give up easily when you face the first obstacle. Your mind consists of two parts, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is responsible for your active thoughts. While the subconscious mind works in the background and performs tasks automatically without wasting mental energy. For instance, if your friends tell you that getting six hours of sleep is beneficial, your conscious mind has to either accept or reject that suggestion. If you accept it, that information goes into your subconscious and becomes a fact. However, if you reject it, it does not become a part of your subconscious. But when you sleep six hours a day, you will become tired. But your mind will tell you that the reason for the fatigue is because of work or because you did not drink much coffee. But all of this is an illusion because a person needs eight hours a day. But when the matter becomes a reality for your mind, it is difficult to understand the true reality. This is exactly what Ayano Koji does to control people's minds, making them feel that the illusion is the truth. And thus, he can control the minds of the people around him. Now, I want to know who you prefer more and who you think is more intelligent. Light from Death Note or Ayano Koji and why? I want to see a logical analysis in the comments. As for me, I have my opinion, and with logical evidence, I want to discuss it with you in the comments. The first question we must ask ourselves is how Ayano Koji reached this level of intelligence. And the whole secret is completed in the White Room. Ayano Koji lived his entire childhood in this White Room. Why? Because they want to create a person with superhuman intelligence. So if you want to reach the level of Ayano Koji, you must make your life a White Room. The topic is tough and not anyone can do this. As I told you at the beginning of the video, only 1% can do it. And I know very well what I am telling you. So to create a white room in our lives, we need to apply five things. Please make this video viral. So if you put like to the video and subscribe to the channel, it will help the video to go viral and let everyone know about Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji is someone who can be considered a master of focus. He has a great ability to pay attention to details that a normal person cannot pay attention to. And these small details are considered loopholes in his enemy's plans. But how did Ayano Koji reach this level of focus? The only reason is the white color. Yes, you might be surprised at how the white color is the reason for the strong focus of Ayano Koji. But the real question is why is the white room white? Why not black or blue? The white room is designed to increase the focus of someone sitting in it. They made the room white so that the person could focus only on learning and not focus his attention on distractions. So we see that Ayano Koji is the type of person who focuses a lot on the smallest details. And the reason is that his mind does not occupy itself with distractions. Some people may now think that they must live in a white room to increase their concentration. I don't mean that. But what I mean is to make your life free of distractions. I want to guarantee you that if you cannot follow this step, you will not succeed at anything in your life. Now I will tell you some things that are difficult for you to do, but I will tell you because I have faith that just 1% can do it. 
First of all, don't blame yourself. We live in an era of constant brain stimulation. Everything is built to capture your attention, which ultimately hinders your ability to focus. It's not your fault, but if you do nothing about it, you'll only have yourself to blame. The first step towards improving productivity is to develop the habit of reducing distractions. This means putting your phone on silent mode and deactivating notifications on all social media platforms. There is no need to be constantly available and at the mercy of algorithms. By taking control of your distractions, you will be able to focus better. The next step is to structure your time effectively. This does not mean planning every minute of your day, but rather having specific time frames for each task. By doing so, you will have better control of your time, reduce stress, and execute tasks with more intention and accuracy. Knowing exactly how long you need to dedicate to each task will also help to reduce uncertainties. In the first point, we said that Ayano Koji focus is what makes him pay attention to the smallest details. But your attention to the smallest details, without analyzing them, is just stupidity. We can say that Ayano Koji analyzes everything in his mind. The idea is that like when you play chess, you must analyze all possible possibilities, and then after that, you must make the best move. This is exactly what Ayano Koji does. We see him sitting in the last seat in the class and analyzing everything, analyzing and then acting. When your mind is focused all the time, you can easily analyze everything that happens around you. So as I told you, Ayano Koji can't be all this intelligent if he misses any of the five points that I will tell you. Some people may ask how we can reach the Ayano Koji stage of analysis. I like to keep things simple by analyzing our surroundings. We are trying to gather as much information as possible, interpret, and explain the situation inside our minds to learn from it and make it really simple for you. You have to know a lot of information in everything, in politics, in medicine, in almost everything. So reading books is the best place to get enough information. Because if you are just analyzing things without knowing enough information to enable you to take appropriate action, it means that nothing has changed. I'm going to share a framework that Robert Greene talks about. Basically, what he suggests is scheduling 30 minutes of your day to reflect on the previous day, think about what you did and what you could have done differently, and ask yourself how you could have made the day more efficient. Consider what would have happened if you tried X instead of Y. You should think like a strategist. Ayano Koji's ability to make the right decision without any hesitation is due to his ability to control his feelings. Ayano Koji can control what he wants to feel. Many people on the internet tell you that you should not care about your feelings, but all of this is just bullshit because feelings exist in human nature and we cannot control to stop feelings, but we can control what we will feel. If Ayano Koji feelings rule his decisions, then he can't make any correct decisions. When he is angry, he will do anything to get rid of this anger. And here is the difference between Ayano Koji and a normal person. Ayano Koji makes his feelings his motivation, not the other way around. For example, if someone makes Ayano Koji angry, Ayano Koji will accept the anger and make the anger a reason for revenge. But a normal person who can't accept this anger will start to pick a fight with anything around him. So all I want to say is to let your feelings be with you, not against you, but how we can do this. The first thing Ayano Koji does is know what he feels. We all experience emotions, and we cannot avoid them because our brain has a dedicated part for feeling emotions. It is important to use this part of our brain correctly to make the most out of it. The process is straightforward. Identify the emotion you are feeling right now, whether it's sadness, frustration, loneliness, or anger. Use that emotion as a driving force to move forward. Emotions have an irresistible effect on the mind, and we cannot control how we feel. We can control how we use those emotions. For example, if you feel envious of someone who has achieved more than you, you can either let that feeling consume you, or you can use it as motivation to surpass them. Then Ayano Koji determines how people feel about him. Beware of individuals who manipulate your emotions to harm you and ruin your reputation. Analyze everyone carefully and understand that people's public personas may differ from their real selves. People may attempt to manipulate you because they want something from you. And it's up to you to figure out what that is. Look closely at their words, signs of betrayal, and their happiness when they see you suffer. Pay attention to their subtle gestures. 
Ayanokoji always chooses his words wisely. Ayanokoji knows the power of words very well. He knows what to say and not to say. In certain scenarios, he knows when to talk and when to remain silent. This is often the most important thing that people overlook during conversations. Ayanokoji believes that talking a lot in social situations not only makes you more likable and helps in getting a bigger network, he thinks the more you talk, the more vulnerable you become. Every word Ayanokoji utters is carefully weighed for its potential impact, and he would never say anything that would make him look weak in any situation. Even when he is outnumbered in a fight against Ryan Group, he chooses to remain calm and says, You will need more than that. Although he is highly skilled in fighting and was confident in his abilities to take on everyone at once, he would never make himself look weak or beg for sympathy under any condition. Do not misunderstand. It's good to be aware of your limits. But the moment you show a hint of weakness to other people, they will capitalize on that opportunity to pre on you. Ayano Koji believed that the mind was not everything because he would be put in situations that required him to fight. So in the white room, they were teaching them self-defense techniques and they were developing people physically. We have seen that Ayano Koji has great speed and great fighting skills. Life is not about planning. Sometimes you will have to fight to defend the people you need. So learn how to defend yourself and strengthen your body physically because you will need that in your life. We have reached the end of the video, but before the end, I want to ask you, what character do you want me to talk about next video? I don't know what the next video will be, so tell me in the comments. I will make a video about the character whose name is most written. Peace.